Hello friends and neighbors and welcome. Today's video is a crochet video and we're going to be making this pretty little lacy bookmark. I adapted this from a pattern for crochet trim that was printed in 1939 by the Spool Cotton Company. I'm going to be using crochet thread size 30 and a size 9 steel hook. We're going to chain 12. One of my goals this year was to read more books, so I wanted a really pretty bookmark to go with it. I've seen a pattern for the uh, crochet trim. Now normally this would have been crocheted and you could attach it to like your decorative towels, your tea towels or your towels in your bathroom to your pillowcases. Um, you could really attach this to just about anything. Uh, they would use this on the trim of their skirts. But I thought it was so pretty I decided to use it as my bookmark. After our chain 12 we're going to go to the seventh chain and put a double crochet. Then we're going to chain five and we're going to put another double crochet in that same space. And then we're going to skip over three chains and into the fourth chain we're going to put a double crochet and then we're going to chain three and we're going to turn our work For row two, we're going to go into that chain five that we did and we're going to put four double crochets. chain five and then we're going to put a single crochet in the fourth chain from the hook and this is to make a pico stitch and then chain one and we're going to go back into the loop and put four more double crochets
and then double crochet in the next space and then we're going to chain three and turn row three we're going to go into that stitch it's right before our picot stitch so we're going to skip over our four double crochets and go right into that stitch there and put a double crochet and then we're going to chain five and we're going to go to the same stitch on the opposite side of the picot stitch and put a double crochet skip over those four double crochets and we're going to double crochet in the next stitch and then chain three and turn. So for here we're just going to repeat uh, rows 2 and row 3 until we get to the desired length that we want our bookmark to be. So for row 4 we're doing the same thing we did in row 2 and then in row 5 we'll do the same thing we did in row 3 and then we'll just continue that. And once you get to the end uh, do not fasten off because we're going to go and do our, our ruffle around the edge. Once you get to that desired length, we're going to turn and work along one long side. And we're going to chain five and then single crochet in the first space. So we're not going to be counting chains or anything along the sides. Um, we're just going to go into the open spaces that you see and try to visually space our ruffles evenly so we're going to chain five single crochet in the next space and I just did the same thing all around and once I got back to the top where I did that last chain five row I put a chain five single crochet chain five single crochet so I did two of those in that chain five space and then I'm just going to slip stitch to the bottom of that first chain five that I had done for the edging and then fasten it off and leave in the tail. And since the stitches on this were so small, I just used my crochet hook to kind of help me weave in the tail. I was afraid if I used a yarn needle it might mess up the stitches a little bit. It's a very simple, very pretty little project. It's easy to do. It's a good project to practice using the crochet thread if you haven't used it before. You could make this using regular yarn if you wanted to. Um, it would make it a little bit bigger. And you could also uh, change colors if you wanted to do the center part one color and the outer ruffle a different color. That would be really pretty. Well, I thank you all for watching and 
I hope you all have a beautiful Valentine's Day. I know it's coming up this week. And I will see you all next time.